Hello and welcome! I'm Triple Helix, and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to end up pulling off my Far Cry 3 Let's Play, or resetting the outposts and control towers, or radio towers, in Far Cry 3, the PC version. Now the first thing you need to do is you're going to want to open up Google and search for HexD, H-X-D. Click on this, it's going to be the first link. Scroll down the page, go to download. It should be this one, this is if you have Windows, any version of Windows, click on this one. And if you're English, which I'm going to assume you are, you can download it with any of these. CNET just, it, it works the best for me. That's what I used. It doesn't really matter which of these you use, just any one of them. And once you've done that, you'll need a program such as WinRAR or 7-Zip to open the files, which will allow you, or to extract the files in order to get to the setup process. And once you finish the setup process, you will have HexD. Now, the next thing you want to do is you're going to excuse me, you're going to want to get a file open and probably it's going to be your it's going to be local disk C drive for most people and you're going to want to go to program files 86 basically wherever you've saved Steam in so wherever you've saved Steam or Far Cry so you want to go here go to Steam Steam Apps Common and then Far Cry 3 and bin now that you're here you're going to want to open either this file, fc3 underscore d3d11.dll, or fc3.dll. This depends on whether or not you're running DX9 or DX11. If you're running DX9 in Far Cry 3, you're going to want to use this one. If you're running DX11, you're going to want to use this one. If you don't know which one you're using, boot Far Cry and go into the video, go into options and video, and it should say in the video section what you're, what you're running. If you're running DX11, it should be, or DirectX11, it should automatically be set to DirectX11 or DirectX9. Whatever it's set to, that's what you're running the system with. And since I'm running DirectX11, I will open this one right here. And now you see all this code and you may immediately start panicking like, well, what do I do now? This is utterly confusing. Well, don't bother thinking about it because it's too stressful. So instead, I will provide both of these in the description below. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the first one here, copy it, and then hit Control F in Hex Editor, which will allow you to find, and then paste it in the search in the search box, and set to hex values, because if you don't set it to hex values, you will not be able to find it. And now you found it. Now before you do this next step, or before you even actually go into this, what I recommend doing is I remember, is I what you need to do is you need to copy the file that you're modifying. So if you're DX or DirectX 9, you're going to want to copy just fc3.dll. If you're running DirectX 11, you're going to want to copy the file right here. And copy it and put it anywhere. On your desktop, anywhere that you want. It doesn't really matter. It just needs to go somewhere. And once you've done that, because that, will, that is required for later. If you don't do that, that's it's not just for backup purposes. If you want to back up your save, you can do that in the Ubisoft thing in the Ubisoft folder. So now that you've done that, you want to go to this and you want to take the second code, copy it, and then, whoops, and then paste it. And now that you've done that, the, you'll notice that the numbers, the coding here, the hex codes turned red, and that just means the ones you've modified. Then you want to go to save, and then you close it. Now that you're done with that, you're going to want to boot Far Cry, cancel, you want to boot Far Cry, as in, you know, start Far Cry 3, go to the save file that you intend to play through on, and tr fast travel to anywhere. You need to save the game, and the button that lets you save, as in like the save option in the main menu, it doesn't really work. It kind of just, it's, it shows you that it's saving, but it isn't really. Just the guaranteed way to save is to fast travel. So just fast travel anywhere you want. And that should allow you to... That will allow for the game to recognize that there's none of the radio towers unlocked. Then the next thing you need to do is you're going to want to go back to where you have Steam. So program files most likely. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Far Cry 3. Bin. And now you're here. Now that you've done the thing with Far Cry, what you're going to need to do, is you're going to want to take the file that you modified, and 
drag it to another folder. So I'm just going to create a new folder here for just for, you know, just for the sake of it and move this into a folder or onto your desktop. It doesn't really matter. Just move it somewhere. It cannot be in this anymore. And now that that's out, you're going to want to take the original one, the one that you had not changed at all, and place that back in to place it back in the folder. If you don't do this, once you complete radio towers and control points, once you finish them, clear them, or unlock them, if you quit the game, it will not work anymore. If you put this one back, it will work. So you need to put this back in order for it to work, essentially. And now that you've done that, you should be able to boot Far Cry, and everything should be working all well and good. Which, you know, is exactly what should happen. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys, for any of you who wanted to reset your... For any of you who wanted to reset your Far Cry 3 data. Also, this doesn't reset story missions, skills, or any of that. It only resets control points and radio towers. I'm not sure if it resets some of the side missions. It seems to sometimes. It seems to for some, but not all of them. So, if you follow this guide, it should be pretty much problem-free. Just create backups for everything. That's what I'm going to say right now. Create backups for everything if you're unsure, and it's relatively safe. So... I guess that's it. This is Triple Helix signing off.